What if I told you that the future of farming and renewable energy is no longer about choosing between crops or solar panels? Imagine fields full of crops growing better under the shade of solar panels while generating clean electricity at the same time. This revolutionary idea is called agrivoltaics, and it's already proving to be a game changer. Farmers, environmentalists, and governments around the world are embracing this concept, not just to reduce carbon emissions, but also to boost agricultural yields. Yes, you heard that right. Crops can thrive under solar panels, producing more food, using less water, and cutting energy costs. In this video, we'll explore how agrivoltaics works, the incredible benefits for farmers and the planet, and how this innovative approach could reshape agriculture and energy production forever. Stick with me until the end because we'll also discuss how you could benefit from this technology, whether you're a farmer or just someone interested in sustainable energy. So what exactly is agrivoltaics and how does it work? The concept is simple but powerful. You install solar panels directly above farmland, allowing crops to grow underneath. These panels are elevated and spaced strategically to let just the right amount of sunlight filter through. Some systems use tilting or adjustable panels that change angle throughout the day to optimize sunlight for both energy production and plant growth. At first, it may seem counterintuitive. Won't the panels block too much sunlight for the crops? Surprisingly, research shows that many crops grow better in partial shade. Panels can reduce heat stress during the hottest parts of the day and retain moisture by blocking excessive sunlight, leading to less water evaporation. Meanwhile, the panels generate electricity, creating a win-win situation. Farmers get both a healthy crop yield and a source of renewable energy to power their operations or even to sell back to the grid. The benefits of agrivoltaics are staggering. First, let's talk about crop productivity. Some plants, like tomatoes, lettuce, peppers, and even certain grains, don't need full direct sunlight to thrive. Instead, they do better with a bit of shade which prevents overheating and reduces the need for frequent irrigation in areas facing drought or extreme heat, which are becoming more common due to climate change. Agrivoltaics can help farmers grow crops more efficiently using less water. Then there's the energy savings. Farmers who install solar panels over their fields not only produce electricity for their operations, but also cut down on costs for irrigation pumps, cold storage, and machinery. Some farms generate so much energy that they sell the excess power to the grid, creating a new revenue stream. In fact, agrivoltaics could revolutionize rural economies by turning farmers into both food producers and energy suppliers. But it doesn't stop there. These systems also reduce soil erosion by slowing down wind and water movement, and they help maintain biodiversity by providing shelter for insects and birds. Agrivoltics isn't just about maximizing efficiency, it's about building resilience into both agricultural and energy systems for the future. Agrivoltics isn't just an idea on paper, it's already transforming farms around the world. In Japan and South Korea, farmers have installed solar panels over rice fields, generating electricity while growing food at the same time. In Germany, vineyards are experimenting with agrivoltaics to protect their grapevines from heat waves while still producing solar energy. Meanwhile, in the United States, States like Colorado and California are embracing agrivoltaics to tackle water shortages and extreme heat conditions. One particularly inspiring example comes from France, where a farm growing crops under solar panels saw a 60% increase in crop yields while cutting water usage by nearly half. And in India, solar-powered farms are being developed to provide energy to rural areas that don't have reliable access to electricity. Agrivoltaics isn't just a niche idea. It's becoming mainstream as more countries realize the dual benefits of this approach. Of course, agrivoltics isn't without its challenges. Installing solar panels over farmland requires some upfront investment, and farmers need to carefully plan which crops will thrive under partial shade. Additionally, not all farms have the space or layout needed to adopt this technology immediately. But advancements in panel design, like lighter, adjustable, or transparent panels, are helping make agrivoltaics more accessible. There's also the challenge of educating farmers about the benefits. Many farmers are hesitant to change their traditional methods, especially if they've been growing the same way for decades. That's why government incentives and grants are playing a crucial role in promoting agrivoltaics. 
In some countries, subsidies are now available for farmers who install solar panels, and utility companies are offering power purchase agreements to make the transition easier. Scaling agrivoltaics globally will require collaboration between farmers, energy providers, and policymakers. But if done right, this technology could become a cornerstone of sustainable agriculture and energy production for decades to come. So, why is agrivoltaics the future? The answer is simple. It solves two of the biggest challenges of our time, food security and clean energy. As the global population grows and climate change makes farming more difficult, we need smarter, more efficient ways to grow food. At the same time, the demand for renewable energy is skyrocketing and agrivoltaics bridges both worlds perfectly. What do you think? Could agrivoltaics become the future of farming? Let me know in the comments. And if, if you enjoyed learning about this incredible innovation, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos about the future of energy and agriculture.